This is America's Test Kitchen, uh, the Small Plates Cookbook. Here's just kind of a brief overview of what this actually looks like on the inside. There are a lot of photos. America's Test Kitchen is really great for, um, I guess, just all kinds of cooks. You don't have to be like professional or very knowledgeable. It could be great for beginners. So I really like this. Most of the time, these are very quick and easy weekday meals as well. And they put everything together in a way that's really palatable for most of us. So here we go. This is uh, our table of contents, tiny, super tiny. Uh, we have our pretty standard stuff. It's like starting out or so sorting out small plates, creating a small plates menu. Five cooking strategies, getting a head start, serving small plates, menu ideas, dressing up a small plate. So this is literally all small plates. Here's kind of what this looks like. And a lot of America's Test Kitchen has this kind of layout where there's a lot of variability. So we have different kinds of sauces here. Soy vinegar, dipping sauces, cilantro, mint, mint chutney. Ooh, that sounds good. Scallion dipping sauce, but moving on. Here is a section for bar snacks and finger foods. So if you do host like cocktail parties, this is a great chapter or a list to actually look through. Here we have blistered shishito peppers. Here you'll see what how much it serves, cook time, total time, 15 minutes, not much at all. This is all of our ingredients down here. Head start. Uh, finish line and perfect pair. So what does this pair with? Uh, so it gives us the page and the recipe that if you wanted to create a whole host of like tapas, you can. And then of course, here's our uh, directions and we even have variations. So this includes shishito peppers with mint, poppy seeds, and orange, something a little fruitier. Um, this one is smoky shishito peppers with espelette and lime. So variations on kind of the same recipe. Let's move forward to some more. Ooh, I love olives. It's been my it's been my thing. And I've never had a deep fried olive, have you? <laughs> I'm curious now. I'm sure it's tasty. This is olives all a scalana. And this is about one and a half hours. Maybe, ooh, it says it requires Parmesan cheese. Oh man. I wonder if you can stuff these. Oh, with prosciutto. Okay, I'm, I'm getting excited. That sounds awesome. We have fried pickles, another classic. It's hard not to like something that has been deep fried. Here's pigs in a blanket. Next is grilled polenta with charred scallion and gorgonzola topping. That's a really awesome uh, thing to serve to people. This is a great hosting cookbook. So if you do a lot of little, little parties or get togethers, this would be really fun to have on hand, and you can use this for so many different things and different times of year. So it presents all of these flavors from all around the world like this. This is a classic pub slider, but it's plant-based, so that appeals to your vegan audience. But then we have things like air fryer uh, apps, which is amazing. A lot of us are really getting on the air fryer thing. Pickles, dips, and spreads. I am really curious about this because I've wanted to do quick pickling and definitely some dips. Here's stuffed pickled cherry peppers. Wow, those almost look like tiny radishes, but they're not. They look good. Whipped feta dip. That would be tasty as well. Chunky guacamole, a classic and definitely a crowd pleaser. Savory toppings for dips. This one's fun because then it makes your dip look, you know, extra fancy. And I think it's really fun, but I've never tried it before. So this is really handy. Caponata. This is a Sakilpak. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced these words. Here we go. We have a honey brie with, or baked brie with honeyed apricots. That looks really good. And it looks pretty easy to put together. You can just shove it in the oven and call it a day. Spanish tortilla. Let's move on a little bit further. So these ones are a little bigger, but you can still have a, a few of these dishes and then people can just have a little bite of everything. This is fennel, orange, and olive salad. Fresh fig salad, which looks beautiful. That's why my light is down because I don't want to wash everything out. This cookbook is really pretty. Uh, this is an esquite. 
Pinto bean, ancho, and beef salad. Interesting. Lots of salads. Pressure cooker braised radishes and snap peas. That looks beautiful. Wow, those radishes really, I mean, they look super pink. Very pretty. Latkes is another wonderful classic. Stuffed tomatoes with couscous and spinach. So eat, this would come in handy if you're not somebody that likes to have giant dinners. And maybe you just, you guys enjoy having small bites, you know, through the day for lunchtime too. I, I dig it. Here we have Peruvian uh, ceviche with radishes and orange. And I'll do a few more. I don't know if we have, let me just triple check. Oh, we do. Kind of. There's a little bit of a dessert-ish section. Cabbage and mushroom dumplings. And then I'll go to the dessert section in a second. Shumai. I love shumai. And then here we go. We have a pine nut macaroon. That looks pretty good. Chocolate toffee bites. So I love that we have baked goods as well. We have different fruit bites with different variations, depending on what kind of meal you're serving, if you want something really simple. And again, just to remind you, it does sometimes give you extra pairings and other recipes that this would uh, go well with. Lemon pisset with berries. That looks good. Very simple. Four ingredients. And lastly, we have a watermelon lime agua frescas. So... Check this out. This is the Complete Small Plates Cookbook. This is by America's Test Kitchen. Really fun. If you are looking for some other quick and easy cookbooks, we have a whole bunch of playlists and videos you can find on our YouTube channel. If you want to join us on our socials, it's at Cookbook Divas. You can find everything down in the description down below. Oh, sorry. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.